Got two of the best players at this football club in Michael Burke and Andy Mathers, as we've just heard. Andy has been re-signed by the club. Congratulations, Andy. We'll, we'll start with you. Um, obviously, fantastic news that you're back at the club and you've re-signed. Was it a tough decision? No, not really. No, I'm just pretty much loving it here on and off the field. So, loving the boys and thought I'd get around it for another two years. So, Did you leave any money for Berkey? Oh, so I heard you haven't signed yet, mate. <laughs> still playing for free. No, nah, no, nah, he's still going. <laughs> so this is your first year back at the club, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, first year back. So I played here in, I think it was 2012, and then um, had a couple of years at uh, Mount Waverley. What were you doing up there? But, um, he, was play, he was playing footy. He was playing football. Yeah, so they lost. <laughs> What's that, the Southern League? Uh, it's the Southern Footy League. Uh, they're in the Dimmy 2 now. I think they won the flag. Oh, so you played footy up there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did it help your footy? Uh, I think it did, yeah. It gave me some confidence, you know, playing in the midfield a bit more up there and um, having a year back from a broken arm, I think. So, no, it's good. And, Michael, uh, 300 games, you just keep playing. What makes you keep turning up and playing footy every week? Uh, I still enjoy it. That's uh, probably the main thing. I still enjoy training. Uh, body's going OK, so... Long time retired, so they say. So keep going. Well, okay. you're, you were captain of the... Team of the Year. Sorry, Blake. Okay. You were captain of the Team of the Year last year at the age of 36. I know age that doesn't mean a great deal if you're still playing the football you're playing, but do you think you're, you're still playing at the level you were, let, let's say, when you're meant to be in your prime playing football, which is early to mid-20s? Uh, which is a long time ago. I don't ago. know. It was, that's, that is a long time ago, but you probably, as you get older, you probably learn the things that you, you should have been doing 10 years ago, you do them now, so you, you look after your body a little bit better, so maybe I'll just do that a little bit better. Yeah, and if your body can hold up, that's the, the key, isn't it? Okay, you spent some time down at Carlton, any regrets that you didn't have an AFL career? Uh, I don't know about regrets. Probably if I had my time over again, I would have maybe persisted a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine where, where life's at and all the rest of it and happy playing footy now. Looking back, why, why didn't you persist? Probably too lazy. Probably didn't have the right attitude, if I'm perfectly honest. So that's, um, yeah, it's a good lesson there. Fourth on the ladder... Do you think you've, I know you've had a lot of injuries, Andy. Do you think you've slightly underperformed? Because for a long time you've been top three. Um, I think so. But I, as Berkey was saying, I think our best footy's still ahead of us. Like, I don't think we've really clicked for any game this year. So, um, who knows what the combination is of 22 blokes. But, I don't know, hopefully we find it in the next two weeks. So, Best yeah. team you played? Best team we played against? Yeah. Um, oh, I think probably Red Hill. At Red Hill. To see a full version of this video and many exclusive chats, never before seen fantastic footage of your club, all the news and views, make sure you click onto the Gameface digital record app.